thing I learned about fishing in Delaware. If you want to fish on your days off, the weather is not always perfect. So you have to improvise on the opportunities that you're given. If you wait for the perfect day to go for what you're perfectly going to go for, your fishing opportunities in a season will be reduced dramatically. So I'll bring you the first Croker show in Rehoboth Bay. This is a great opportunity. for you to get your kids involved when this bike goes on the rig I tie is very simple I'll go over that in the tie up portion of the show enjoy the episode the weather conditions for this show were actually very windy the water was very stained brown color so I was picking colors out of my box that would stand out for the, uh, the grub worms that were on the, the rig and I also had wind against the tide for a good portion of the show where uh, the boat was pretty much at the same spot the whole time I was hooking them right one right after the other then finally the tide kind of picked up and was moving my boat so I then would uh, drift in a spot and you know cover more water and then just go back up so this was the Rehoboth side of Massey's Landing Some of the baits I was using in this show was fish bites. It was either both the clams fish bites or the blood worms fish bites. All I'm doing is cutting them into tiny little pieces to get a scent on the grub worms that are also on the hook. It's a two way setup with a one ounce sinker. And I will go over exactly how to tie that, what size hooks I'm using in the show.
All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to the tie-up session for the uh, Rehoboth Bay White Perch, aka the Croaker Show. Uh, you saw that big, huge stringer of fish. It was a very good day. That that bite was nonstop. So I'm going to see if I can help you guys out to get into them. So uh, I'm going to show you the rig I tied, uh, and then the bait I was using, the rod I was using, and I'll go over a little bit more of the strategy that I was using, like as far as the drift and uh, staying on a bottom and all that stuff. So let's start off with the rig. My rod was the uh, Ugly Stick 6.6 six, and the uh, Pen Fierce. Uh, 3000 and I was also using my tsunami seven foot rod that was really the main game in, in town on my uh, uh, Abu Garcia MX2 and 12 pound braid So let's go over the tie in the rig. This is kind of key because this rig is not in a bait shop anywhere. You could use other kinds of rigs, but uh, so I'm going to tie my rig to my swivel. I've got a 30 pound swivel on here. So I'm just going to uni knot it straight to my uh, braided line which is attached to this other side of the swivel so we'll pull it make it tight so my hooks are already on there but they're hanging loose they're not doing nothing good for me right now so this loop at the bottom is for the sinker. And then I have two hooks in here. So what I want to do is kind of hold them in place. So we'll take the first hook. We're going to tie the uh, dropper loop with the hook already on the line. So we'll just kind of put the, the line together and barrel roll it. And then we're going to take the hook and feed it through and then you got your first hook tied and then the second hook is going to go about six inches above that so this is hanging loose now we want to stop that so I'm going to do a drop a loop again we're going to barrel roll put it put the lines together and then barrel roll it and then take that hook put it through this area where you're barrel rolling it hold it together like that and you got your two hooks now the sinker is going to go here so you got two hooks and the sinker so now I want to decorate it a little bit better Get yourself a pack of the uh, the panfish uh, grub worms. They have all different colors. Get the whole the whole pack for like five bucks. It'll last you forever. So I pick a color. I think on that episode I was using brown and yellow and purple and black. So I'll just go grab a black one and the yellow one because it's a little bit brighter. So. When I'm setting up on the colors, I know I have some brightness and some darkness. So we just feed that one on there, and we got the first one hooked up, and the second one, we got the yellow one. Just feed it on.
pull it around and we got two grub worms on it. So one of the things that you're going to want to do is get yourself some fish bites. Either the, the clam or the, the worm one with the red, the red tape. It's going to come in a pack like this and then the, uh, the, the clam looks like this. So all I'm going to do is cut a little strip out of there. I'll cross it like that and then like that I'll get my second you can see there's nothing fancy about it we're just trying to get a little bit of a scent on there so now we'll just put one on each hook So that is your croaker setup. You got the sinker, you got the, uh, the two grub worms, and then you're just going to drop straight to the bottom and, uh, you know, catch a drift. So we were drifting right at the mouth of Massey's Landing uh, on the Rehoboth side. You'll see the beach in one side and, and then the other island on another side in the scenes where I'm catching these fish. So. At the beginning of the show, I did have wind against the tide, so I was kind of sitting in one spot for most of it, and then the tide picked up, so it was pushing me into the ditch, which would mean we had outgoing tide that day. And then I moved back and then drifted back. So uh, one of the things you're going to do is just you know drop straight down, feel for the bites, um, and then you know, just set the hook on them. They are very aggressive, the real big little tap tap bites, but they're aggressive. They hit like a rock. The croaker tie up. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Get out there and flip some things.